having a house full of windows is pretty awesome. But the only problem with it is it's definitely the weak point in the insulation. <clears throat> and these are double pane windows. They were originally sliding glass doors. So they, you know, they do insulate to some, to some degree, but not as much as, you know, the foam on the walls. So, to increase the insulation here, I've bought some I bought a big roll of mylar sheeting and I'm going to like basically plastic wrap the windows all the way around. So I'm going to attach mylar in here and have it go across to the next you know, the next whatever you call these things, these vertical things, like that. And to do that, I'm putting in some wood pieces here so the mylar can attach to that. Because on the side, see, it's got this piece that, that sticks out. And I want it to be able to attach here, too. And this is the midpoint. And then I have to put another one of these way up there at the top so the mylar can attach there. And I also have to trim a bunch of spray foam up at the top. I already did trim all the spray foam around these windows here, but not at the top yet. So that's where I am now. I spent the last two days painting and caulking and washing windows and the whole bottom row are, are all done. As you can see here, they're nicely caulked in on this side as they have been on the other side for a long time. And now I just have a little bit of paint on the top rows to scrape off. Hopefully that won't take very long. It's much easier to do without a camera in my hand. Um, yeah, and hopefully soon I'll be ready to put some actual sheets on there. Dirty. Clean! Of course, to really get them clean, I'll need someone on the outside cleaning the outside. This morning I went down to the banana building and cut lots of wood strips so I could do this! You might not be able to tell, but that window is done! Here, let's go take a closer look. As we can see, I have not trimmed this yet, and I've got wood strips holding in the stuff. See? See the stuff? Ooh, so much insulation. I still need to attach it somehow at the bottom. Right now there's just a couple pieces of tape and somehow way at the top too. But the sides are totally good. And it seems to be working very well. Because, you know, I can put the sheet in there and then pull the sheet kind of against the, the wood strip and then screw the screw in. And when the screw goes in all the way, it like pulls this plastic real tight. So it's nice and flat. And Deshana says, Jamie, that's marvelous. Mm -hmm. So now I just have to do that nine more times. And hopefully my order of more Mylar will get here soon. Because I don't have enough to do the whole thing. Oh, and I cut my little Mylar box with a slot here so that I can pull it out. Kind of like a giant saran wrap thing. It's still kind of tricky to get it all the way up there without, you know, making any big creases. But it's not too bad. It's tomorrow morning, and as you can see, this window, which does have the extra layer of glazing on it, is not all fogged up from condensation, but this one, which is not yet done, has water all over it. Very exciting. That, that means this one is all cold. This is like the never-ending roll of mylar.
The endless roll of mylar has run out and I still have three panels left. I'm getting a delivery in two days though, then I can finish it. Tis already noticeably warmer though. <laughs> so I'm making dinner in here and it's below freezing outside by a little bit. And it is so hot in here, I'm gonna have to get a smaller stove with all this extra insulation, which is kind of a nice problem to have. Mm-hmm. <laughs>